The Virgin Islanders have started rebuilding infrastructures that were destroyed by Category 5 hurricanes Emma and Maria in 2017. The new school buildings engineered to stand strong hurricanes, but they do not know that a new problem will arise. This could not be happening. I cannot understand why we missed calculations. We need to leave a statement about this. I hope that it will come and save us from this problem. Madam Sierra. Community news, please. Yes, Madam Sierra. The architects and engineers of the new Hurricane Ready School are facing a problem. They need funds to floor room, and they're asking. Get my checkbook. Yes, Madam. Engineers! I am here on behalf of Madam Sierra. <laughs> Madam Sierra will sponsor the fund to floor the room, but under one condition. You have to report the total floor area for our company's accounting. The report will be sent to your office first thing in the morning. Okay, here's the floor plan. It is a seven-sided room. The dashed line separates the floor into a pentagon and a square. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven right angles. The side lengths are 12, 10, 24, and 5 meters. What is the total area of the floor in the room? Um, is there any more information? Like, what is the side length of the square? As of now, we do not have that information. And we don't have time to travel because we have to submit the information tomorrow morning. We are engineers. This is very easy. Let me start by trying the illustration of the rectangle and square. Since this side is 24 meters and this side is 12, we can also say that this side is 12 meters. And since this is 10 and this is 5, we can also say that this side is 5 meters. That is so cool! Oh, I can clearly see now a right triangle with sides of 5 meters and 12 meters. So, we have a right triangle with two sides. Hypothetical theorem! Because the hypotenuse is missing, we can use c squared plus a squared equals b squared. c squared equals 12 squared plus 5 squared. 12 times 12 equals 144. 5 squared equals 25. 144 plus 25 equals 169. So the hypotenuse is 13 meters. Ah! And that is the side leg of the square. Next, to get the area of the square, we simply have to square the sides. 13 squared. The area of the square part of the room is 169 meters squared. We are so close to getting this done. Ah! <laughs> that was fun. To get the area of the rectangle, multiply the length by the width. The area of the rectangle is 240 meters squared. And add that to the area of the square. The total area of the classroom is 409 meters squared. Because we are hashtag VI Stronger. Full Force Engineers! 